In this video, I'll show you how we can create one navigation drawer in Nav Components. So currently, this is a project that I have created and it has only one activity, main activity and it's loading this activity main XML file and it has three fragments, first fragment, second fragment and third fragment and each one of these fragments have three XML files, fragment first, fragment second and fragment third. And we have one graph file here. When we see the graph, you can see that the first fragment is assigned as the start destination. So if I run it, then the first fragment is loaded in this main activity main x activity main.xml file. So here we are assigning this main graph as the nav graph for this fragment container view. Now let's integrate the drawer component in this activity main. So for that, the first thing we need to create one menu file. So right click here, new Android resource file. And suppose the name is main menu and it's of type menu. And this menu file will be used to, let me use it as add. This file will be used in the navigation drawer and all the components that will be defined in this menu, this will be loaded in this drawer. So here, first let me create one item. So for the item, I need to, we need to give one ID. This ID should be same as the fragment ID. So the first item will be for the first fragment. So the navigation drawer will create one item for the first fragment. So if I go to this main graph and here, if I click on this first fragment, you can see that the ID is first fragment. For the second fragment, it is second fragment, and for the third fragment, it is third fragment. Now let's go back to this menu. And here, after this ID is added, we need one icon. So I have already created one icons here. This the vector icons I have already created. So and the third one is the title that we want to show. Suppose it is first fragment. Now let me create two more items here. Suppose for the second one it is second fragment and for the third one it is third fragment. And here let me change it to second fragment. This one is third fragment. And I see fragment second. And let's use the same icon for the third one. Now we need to add the drawer in this activity main.xml file. So we don't need this frame layout here. So we need to use on dry layout. Suppose the ID is dry layout and the layout width it is match parent, layout height it is match parent, and also let me use fit system windows. This property it's a brilliant property, and it adjusts the view layer based on the system window, such as the status bar. So it will make sure that the status bar and the dry item will not collapse. So we need to make it as true. Then I'm gonna wrap this container view inside the coordinator layout. So coordinator layout width is match parent and height is match parent. And this is we are placing this fragment inside this coordinator layout. And inside this coordinator, we can also add one toolbar. So width is match parent. For that, I'm gonna use this attribute action bar size for the height. Let me use on background for this toolbar. For the background, I'm gonna use attribute and color primary. And also let's use on theme for this toolbar. For that, I'm gonna use style. This one is dark dot action bar. So this will make sure that this text on this toolbar will be white. So we need to also add on ID for the toolbar. Let's use toolbar as the ID. So let's use one uh, margin top for this fragment container view. So I'm going to use the same height of this toolbar as the margin top. So it will add that much margin on top. So I need to use margin top here. Okay, so you can see that this fragment container view is taking only the space below this toolbar. And other than this, also we need one view that's called navigation view. So this view will load 
the actual navigation drawer so for the width we can use rev content and for the height we can use match parent and also we need to use only of gravity so you can see that this is the view for this navigation view and also we need fit system windows as true and also we need to define the menu that we are loading here so we'll define the same menu that we have created so this is the main menu so for this navigation view also we need one id suppose it is nav view okay now let's move back to this main activity so we need to create four variables here so let me create one by one one is app bar configuration so it's of type app bar configuration then the second one is nav controller so it's nav controller and it's of type nav controller then the third one is dry layout it's of type dry layout and the fourth one is nav host fragment fragment nav host fragment it's of type nav host fragment so let me change it to nav host fragment yeah also we need the toolbar toolbar we are using the app compact toolbar so after this set content view first let's get the toolbar so for that i'm gonna use find view by id so r.id dot toolbar then let's get the name post fragment for that we can use supported fragment manager dot find fragment by id r dot id dot nav host fragment and as nav host fragment then we can get the nav controller from this nav host fragment nav host fragment dot nav controller then we can get the dry layout find view by id r dot id dot dry layout okay now we can create the app bar configuration so this is must so if you are following my other tutorials then you know that we need to create app bar configuration always so for the first one we need to pass the graph so that we can get from this nav controller dot graph and the second one is the dry layout app bar configuration is created now first we need to set the toolbar with this app bar configuration so toolbar dot set up with nav controller so the first thing is nav controller and the second one is app bar configuration now we need to set up this navigation view with this nav controller so for that let me use find view by id so it's of type navigation view and here i'm gonna pass the i dot id dot nav view and let me import it okay then we have one method it's called setup with nav controller and here i can pass the nav controller okay let me now read on it the app is started now you can see that it added one action bar above this toolbar so for that we need to go to our team and we need an one parent team with no action bar so i'm using this one now let me restart it now you can see that it's showing the drawer and also this toolbar is used as the action bar now if i click on any other fragment then it will add this back button here and here also if i move to third fragment then it works i can also swipe here to open this dry layout to correctly support the uh, navigation uh, up navigation in uh, navigation graph so we need to operate one more method it's called on support navigation up so it returns on boolean so here we need to return nav controller dot navigate up or the super dot on navigate up now if i click on this navigation navigation drawer and move to different fragment 
then I can use this back button to move to the first fragment. So that's all for now. If you love this video, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. And also if you have any question, please drop one comment below. Thanks. Bye.